Uh, do. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to a weird random ramble. This one's just going to be possibly a short one um, where I personally think that some of the World Cup games for the Rugby League World Cup or a possible future Rugby League World Cup should go. Now, before anyone even says anything, the other aspect of it is to be honest, as well to help grow the game, I think we need more of these. There's been one rumoured to be somewhere out and it was supposed to have happened earlier this year or well, been released earlier this year and it hasn't. So I don't know what's going on. So the Rugby League like Live or the Rugby Challenge Lives and stuff like that. Yeah, I've got the World Cup edition of 4 and 3. I don't really play 3 or play 4 occasionally. I have to put up with this every freaking day, by the way. <laughs> Two in the morning is the worst time to hear one of them things screaming past. But hey, whatever. It's just because there is a main road over there. But yeah, we do need more, like, computer games and video games or whatever. That'll be a future, a future rant by me. But some of the things, just because, like, you know, I've looked at some of the places that it's going to be. Yeah, right. Like Bolton and Wigan and some of those places where they've got it like Lee Sports Village and yes, the core of it. But they say they want to grow the sport, so they're only picking one or two places where there isn't really access to league and they're seeming to shy away from areas where there's a bit of union and stuff like that. So, you know, just for in case everyone ever grew up or whatever expanded, this is my little kind of like possible dream list. I'm just going to pick some places at random off of basically what is the updated or hopefully updated wiki page for some of the places. Obviously, there's going to be like Wems and Old Trafford and Spurs Stadium. They're obviously going to be there. You know, Anfield, question marks on Anfield because of something to do with when um, the European Cups or whatever was supposed to be going through Anfield is apparently too too small. I don't know about that, but there's a possibility Anfield could be okay with that because I'm sure we've played uh, league games in Anfield before. You know, I'm going to say that. But I'm going to just pick some places because I speak to a few people from one area in particular, Southampton. So, how about using Southampton because it's St Mary's? That's a 32,500 seat stadium. Yes, it's a mono bowl. So, and most of the stadiums that we're playing up here are mono bowl. You know? So you could get what? Call it 28, 30,000 peeps in there. Get that. That would be a cracking place. You know, same idea at Brighton. You know? There's, it, that would look good on the cameras. You know, just for the spectacle of it. That would look good. I, don't, I would say St Andrews, but I don't really know what's going on with that because some of the things I've seen on the football highlights, the place is having seats ripped out and banners put around in certain places. So I don't know what's going on safety-wise or condition-wise with that. But it looks, that would be kind of like an, an odd one. Maybe, you know, Stadium MK, Portman Road for Ipswich. You know, maybe, I know we've got the Uniball, so, you know, Bolton have a game uh, up there you know there's a couple of other things you know maybe if you wanted some of the like smaller low low profile places you know like maybe possibly go Preston again pitch sizes and dimensions I'm not taking that into consideration this is all just other places and other ideas of where you could play games I'm gonna basically just say let's for instance, my minimum would be 20,000 for the capacity, just for the low end. So places like, you know, the Den would squeak in, Fratton Park in Portsmouth, that would squeak in, Meadow Lane, that would squeak in, Vicarage Road would manage to just about get there. But then we'd lose a couple of other places that some people may want, such as like Bloomfield Road and Keepmoat and Boundary Park and Cassam and stuff like that even Rotherham for the New York Stadium that would actually look quite nice on camera but for that unfortunately it doesn't make the 20,000 mark so to go back up yeah you've got like Valley Parade in Huddersfield you know Valley Parade at Bradford 
and you've got Huddersfields for the Kirklees, and then obviously the D Dub has its games. And then you've got the KCOM for Hull that already hosts games. So those are heartland of league, but to stretch it out into places where don't always do that, you could possibly host a game or maybe two out there. In some places like the KP, you know, the King Power or Molyneux. To be honest, I think Molyneux would look all right decked for rugby. Again, this is just me thinking in dream circumstances. You know, because you've got like Molyneux with 31.7. Decent, decent size, 31,000. You know, the, the KP, the King Power. Again, 30, 32,000 and change. A little bit smaller than St Mary's, pretty much the same design. So you've got that. Maybe, I know Sheffield does have like the Sheffield Eagles and stuff like that. I think it's the Sheffield Eagles. Don't quote me because I'm just ad-libbing here. I'm running off the top of my head. But Sheffield does have its own team. But you could easily put it in Bram uh, Bramall. You know, maybe go to Derby and put it some in Pride Park. Again, or possibly even Hillsborough. Again, Sheffield. You wanted that. Goodison. Now, Goodison would look all right for the history because it is an old stadium but the new stadium for Everton will look even better now that could be kind of like you know a semi-final ground same for like you know go to Sunderland Stadium of Light that could be a semi-final you know ground St James's Park now regularly the Magic Weekends are up in St James's Park so I believe that one's also in the mix as well Obviously, there's going to be game. There's going to be a game or games at Emirates. Yeah, obviously, you know that is there. You know, yeah, we have had games at the Etihad as well in Manchester. You know, the London Stadium. I believe that's hosted some games at some point. Tottenham hosted the recent thingy. You know, the um, recent Challenge Cup, which Wigan won. You know, there is places that we could go. That don't always have a heartland of it. Maybe even, I know the, the, it wasn't just England, if you stretch it out a little bit more towards like Scotland or Wales. Just for instance, because you've got Cardiff in there at a 33 and change. That could host some ones, and I know that is a union heartland, but still. That would look alright. I know it's mostly mono ball. But come on. Sometimes we do need a little bit of ideas and a little bit of more thinking. Sometimes you can have league play in a union area. It's the same with union would play in a league area. You know, if you want to grow the sport, as you say, RFL, why are you not concentrating a little bit more on spreading it out in the areas that don't see it? Especially those that even don't have union. But it's like, eh, you know, it might work. Plus having some of the training facilities. All right, yeah, obviously I have the training facilities and stuff in League Heartland or Rugby Heartland, for instance, because you could possibly borrow some of the things from some of the union. Because not all the time would union be running, would union be needing all of their stuff. There is a chance you could do that. You know, it's like... I know the Coventry situation's going on and all of that lot because the pitch is horrendous at the moment. Or well, was horrendous. I, I believe that is in the process of being fixed and to be able to be playable. Now they have wasps on their field. Not actual the animal wasps, as in wasps or lo what was London wasps as the rugby union team. So they have that playing in Coventry. You know, so they could easily do that. You know, that's a stadium that is of as some people have multiply quoted man out barrel look and it works you know it's the same it's the same in reading you get away with using that place there's a lot of stadiums that could be used or could be feasibly used to host future league games but for some weird reason the rfl just seem to ignore it so, you know, there's places that you could easily do it. It's like, you know, you could possibly, just for instance, just because I grew up in that town, you could possibly have an exhibition game 
for a small scale pre-season or pre-competition opener at some of the non-league or lower league teams. So you can possibly go to Chorley and have a pre-season game or whatever, or a warm-up game out in Chorley in the summer. You know, you could literally, if we had a summer break or whatever, you could literally have an exhibition game or even maybe, I don't know, reserves game? Reserves games in some of these areas in some of these towns. Maybe even move some of the cup competitions around. Maybe have, what? Just for instance, I know this is more to do with like a World Cup thing, but some people have said, because of how the NRL are doing things, of the possibility of the NRL final moving around like the Super Bowl does, go from host city to host city to host city. Well, maybe we could do that at some point. Keep it in areas where there is big stadiums. So, London, you know, down in the Midlands. So you could have like Villa Park. You could have, if Molyneux ever did get done up to its 50,000, whatever its future ambitions is, you could possibly have Molyneux hosting some of those. You could even do it at Anfield once it's fully redone with that, with the Anfield Road end done. You could possibly take it to Everton's new stadium and do that. You could move it around London. You know, you could have it at Old Trafford. You could have it at the Etihad. You could have it up in Newcastle. You could have it at Sunderland. I know we don't have many giant stadiums outside of some of the mega cities, but this is how it works, unfortunately. You know, you could even get away with some of the, like, you know, maybe a semi-final or something for, you know, the Challenge Cup. Have those at Nottingham, at the, you know, the city ground. Or you could have them, or you could even have them at Molyneux or have them in Leicester. Or even use, you know, Leeds. Not Leeds Rugby Stadium, but Leeds Football Stadium. Get away with doing some of these things like we have done in the past. There's a lot of other stadiums that don't just host rugby or are not within that heartland of rugby. You could get away with it. So, what do you guys think? Am I just rambling and just making a noise for nothing? Or is this a brilliant idea that could possibly work? And maybe have one or two games each rung go through to different places and lower the amount that some people have been saying that I have, I have noticed when people have been saying, well, why aren't you growing it here? Why aren't you growing it there? Because, oh, Heartland, Heartland, Heartland. You're all concentrating on the corridor. Rawr. So what's your ideas? Where else do you think that we should play it? Or... Do you think we just, just scrap it off altogether because we're shit? Stick your ideas down below. Anyway, that's been me rambling on. I will see you later. Peace.